what's up everybody new never you here um today i was gonna make uh a discussion video on the new kingdom hearts 4 trailer uh but in light of recent events i decided to go ahead and do the video i originally planned to release a video last week but man i got on the couch friday after work passed out so Today, I want to talk about um, your soul, the, the essence of your soul. Uh, so, when it comes to the soul, I feel like a lot of people misunderstand like what the soul is. A lot of people just think it's this you which technically it is but it's it's a lot deeper than that so your soul kind of exists in a realm i don't want to say right next to the actual physical realm but it's a different it's a different realm of where the soul resides and a lot of stuff happens in that realm that if it happens over there generally it happens in real life most often call it the spirit realm. Now, the reason this is so important is because Satan is coming for it. He wants it. He is condemned to a very dark and painful place for his crimes and punishments against God, the Holy Trinity, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So he wants to take as many people to hell with him as possible. Now, you may say, we've heard about this before. What's so different about what you're going to tell us? So there's a lot of things that are just implemented in places where you often go, like uh, the movies, video games, cards, comic books, regular books, and all these symbols that you think are like, man, that's a pretty dope symbol. Like, how'd they come up with that? Nine times out of 10, it's not original. It's either a combination of some symbols way back in time, or it's just the standard symbol modernized, if that makes sense. Uh, take the seal of Lord Calcos, for example, if you played Yu-Gi-Oh before. Uh, the seal of Lord Calcos is the same symbol as Aleister Crowley's Telema symbol, which is basically what he would put on his book of the law and his religion into where he would invoke demons and have them do things for him and he'd do things for them uh, which is where we get the word Aeon from A-E-O-N if you play Final Fantasy X you know what an Aeon is it's a spirit that you summon with a summoner but in order to get a summon uh, a, a, a Aeon in Final Fantasy X you had to pray to the spirit of a fallen warrior or a fallen person so AKA necromancy, you basically bring that spirit back from the dead. So that's one example for video games and card games. Now it's playing uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which game review coming for that. As soon as I finish it and platinum it, there is, in the very beginning, there's, you know, pentagrams in somebody's room, I'll tell you when the review comes out. Uh, there's, uh, article in one of the magazines the person's reading and it says we're not the children of angels maybe fallen ones or fallen angels so fallen angels are demons if you didn't know now I think the biggest mix misconception about fallen angels is that come on Mikey Dikey up is that um, they're supposed to look evil demonic is generally the word that comes to mind when people say demons but it's a fallen angel so we don't know what angels technically look like physically because we've never been to heaven so all we have is the descriptions out of the bible and some of the descriptions in the bible some angels look pretty what you would say insane but what if say me being satan the devil feels above i infiltrated the world and created images 
that you would think I would look like. But in reality, I don't look like that because if you come in contact with me and I say, hey, I'm the devil, you would automatically assume that I was lying because you're expecting some horn beast with a spear, lance thing, red, angry, scary. In reality, they could look just like us. They could look like that. Um probably look like anything they want to look like to either invoke fear or invoke your curiosity now a lot of these things and tactics that these things do demons is that they they take a lot of your time because if you don't have time to focus time to understand time to study time to listen you fall for anything and you fall for anything is because you're constantly trying to do something better for me it was cards i was always trying to be the best card player always trying to be the best collector always trying to be something to the point where i would spend 10 to 11 hours sorting cards 10 to 11 hours working on deck 10 to 11 hours uh studying cards and that was all i was doing now imagine working all day and then coming home and you're doing that for 10, 11 hours. Say you work for eight hours, so you did 19 hours. In reality, I did nothing productive. So mentally, I'm already drained from the jump. Spiritually, I'm already drained because if I lose or if I fail at some of these things, then I'm already gonna be down on myself. So it's easy for my mind to drift off into this dark unknown to where I feel like I'm not doing enough. So I'm obviously going to seek some form of guidance. Now, if I'm not speaking spiritual guidance from Jesus Christ, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, then I'm obviously going somewhere else. So let's say I'm like, ah, I need some inspiration. I got to watch Dragon Ball Z. Favorite character is Goku. So. I watch Goku for 10 episodes. So I try to model myself after Goku or model myself after another character or model myself after another person. And I get lost in that transition of trying to be somebody else. I get lost trying to be somebody else, get lost in trying to accomplish things that somebody else has accomplished instead of just trying to be myself. And so therefore, you know, I am losing myself to the game as they say losing myself to all these things that aren't me to the point i don't know who i am anymore i don't know what i want i don't know what i'm doing in life and i'm losing myself i'm compromising myself to the point where i'll do anything that i need to do to get where i i feel like i want to be so i will and this is not me, this is just a generalized situation. That's where you get people that become porn stars because they want to feel love. So they go and have sex with all these different people because doing that gives them a sense of love. You got people that do drugs because they want to forget things and drugs is a way for them to forget. You got alcoholics that kind of do the same thing. And so all these things are coming and grabbing for your soul and some of them feel good and some of them don't. And there's a soul capture mechanism mechanism built for everybody. There's something that everybody could lean towards that grabs everybody, that everyone would gravitate to, specifically catered to them, whether it's movies, alcohol, drugs, sex, um, whatever. We all have our things that we go to when we want to feel warm and accepted and loved and all these other different things. And those are the things that are fighting for your soul. If you, if you look at it, very rarely are the things designed from a heavenly place or a good place seeking for you to feel lost and give up so much of yourself to be whole. Like if you look at good guys in, 
in comic books or whatever, they don't really go around it's like, hey, if you give me a hundred bucks, I'll save your life. If you wash my car, I'll keep you safe. The same thing with God. Like God's not asking you for ten million dollars to watch over you and keep you safe. You know, he asks you to do specific things like you know, be sober minded. Uh, if you're gonna be angry, don't sin in your anger. You know, things that help you become a better person, help you be better for him. But on the opposite spectrum, you got Satan. It's like, do you boo? Do whatever you feel. Do whatever you think is right. Do all these things that make you happy. And then all these things that make you happy in the long run, do they really make you happy? Do you really feel whole? Do you really feel love? Stuff coming for your soul. And it's easy to deny it. It's easy to be like, eh, I don't really know. But that's, it's all by design. Everything's built to keep you locked behind doubt fear worry you're not supposed to wake up you're not supposed to realize that you know devils are among us you're not supposed to know all these things and a lot of the times when people give you this information they disappear or they get killed or they get sick or they get some random disease you know a lot of people they take these oaths to get money, to get status, and that's the cost. You either stick to the oath or you die, you know? They give up their soul for a little bit of money, a little bit of fame, but your soul's a lot more important than I think people take it for. I know obviously there's people that understand how how important their soul is, but I mean, that's, that's why I do a lot of things that I do on YouTube. It may not make sense to you, but trying to get you to understand that everything's created the way it's created to keep you from understanding things to keep you from picking up a book why pick up a book when you can just google it like okay what does astronomical mean i can just google it instead of picking up a encyclopedia or dictionary and looking at it finding it and it's like oh, okay i want to find some more words that's how it's, it's designed to do that keep you glued to a screen to keep you glued to a, a video game console and i'm not saying you can't play video games you can't look at your cell phone i'm just saying that if that's all you're doing then you're wasting your life you're wasting a lot of life and by the time uh, i think a lot of people realize it it's already too late and that's how a lot of jobs are designed it is designed to keep you exhausted so you don't go and build your own empire. You don't go and find your own freedom within um, financial stability. You're stuck behind somebody else's, I don't even know what they call it, permission, I guess. But just this week, just sit down and pay attention to everything. And you don't even have to tell me. Just, just sit and pay attention to everything. Everything you watch, everything you listen to, tell me if it's geared to making you a better person or if it's geared toward everything is about me the music you listen to whether it be rap rock pop whatever if it's telling you you can do this you can do that blah 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 and not service of others that's one thing watch a movie and it's all about the protagonist getting what they want it's, it's just all designed about fulfilling your desires it's all designed about you and that's the way to start losing yourself it's to all be about yourself be all about yourself just sit and pay attention to everything the way people talk the way people move the way people react to things just just take a take a good six seven days and pay attention to it and you'll see that the world isn't designed to make you seek God by the standards of humanity. It's designed to keep you away from God. Even if you don't believe in God, just look and see how selfish the world is via music, entertainment, media. Six days, seven days, 
coming for your soul. This is new, never you. And if you did new, 